In the latest Nintendo Direct, we were blessed by Nogami with more Splatoon 3 news. In this video, I'll be doing an analysis on the new multiplayer aspects revealed in the trailer and on the Squid Research Lab page. The first new information we get are the return of six weapons, splash o -Matic, Undercover Brella, Glugadoolies, Flash Blaster, Splat Roller, and Splat Charger. We are also shown a new stage known as Eagle Tail Alley. It was apparently an old neighborhood in the center of Splatsville and is now a popular place to hang out and play Turf War. On Squid Research Lab, they also revealed the name of the new stage from the last trailer is Scorch Gorge. We are then shown the Crab Special, which is revealed to be called the Crab Tank. It shoots high velocity blobs of ink and also has a powerful rapid fire gun. The crab is also able to turn into a ball and roll around, leaving a trail of ink, kind of like the baller special from Splatoon 2. We then see the roller deploy a force field special, which is apparently a modified version of the bubble roller special from Splatoon 2, known as the Big Bubbler. It appears that the force field blocks all incoming shots of those inside, but I'm curious as to whether enemy players can go inside the force field. In this shot, you can also see that the force field is a sphere. We are then shown Museum de Alfonsino, which makes its return in Splatoon 3 and seems relatively unchanged compared to the first game. Next, we see another new special, a Spider-Man light called the Zipcaster. It allows the user to extend tentacles and use them as suction grappling hooks, allowing them to land and stick to walls, making it easier to reach difficult places. When the user lands, they also create a large spot of ink on whatever surface they land on. It also appears that the user is able to use their main weapon while in the swarm. Also, in this shot, you are able to see a landing marker, much like the Inchet special from Splatoon 2. The Squid Research Lab confirms that after the special has finished its duration, you return to where you first activated it. It is also revealed that the new Inkzuka and Killer Whale Stingray specials are known as the Trizuka and Killer Whale 5.1 respectively. That's everything we know about the multiplayer aspects in Splatoon 3. Tune in tomorrow where I'll go over everything we know about the single player mode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.